Hi guys and welcome to another video of the Wizarding Book of Spells series. In this video, we are going to talk about Alohomora and the Animagus spell. Let's get started. Alohomora, also known as the Unlocking Charm, is a charm that unlocks objects such as doors or windows. It is also able to open doors locked by the locking spell, Colaportus, and as such, acts as its counter charm. The anti Alohomora charm can be used to prevent this charm from working on a locked target. Alohomora. It has its origins in Africa, where it was known as the Thief's Friend. The first known person to have mastered the charm was an ancient African wizard, who taught it to a British thief during the latter's trip to the continent in the 17th century. When he returned to Britain, he used it to terrorize London, stealing from homes of muggles and wizards alike, until Blagden and Blay invented the anti alohomora charm. There are lots of spells who had the same use of Alohomora, for example Portoberto, Aberto and Open Sesame. All of these were far less effective than Alohomora. This spell is taught in Charms class, in the first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and is one of the first spells students learn. It is located in the first volume of the Standard Book of Spells series, where it is described in Chapter 7. J.K. Rowling stated that the word was from the West African Sikidae figures used in Geomancy and has the literal meaning friendly to thieves. We can see Alohomora used by several wizards and witches, such as Newt Scamander, he who must not be named, Hermione Granger, etc. I love more. Oh, so you're. Soon I discovered the bowl on my desk. Just a few inches of clear. And now, the Animagus spell. The Animagus spell is a spell with the incantation Amato, Animo, Animato, Animagus. It is a transfiguration spell used in the process of becoming an Animagus. While the incantation is necessary for the process, it is not all that is needed to become an Animagus, with the full process requiring skills in transfiguration and potions, and also a remarkable amount of patience. The incantation has to be recited at sunrise and sundown, every day before the consumption of the Animagus potion. The incantation is also recited just prior to the consumption of the potion, which has to take place just after a lightning storm starts. The incantation is recited while placing the wand's tip over one's heart. As the potion can only be consumed during a lightning storm, prospective animagi might have to recite the incantation for weeks, months, and even years. Failure to adhere to the daily recitations of the incantation would result in failure of becoming a fully functional animagus, though the precise consequences are unclear. Amato, Animo, Animato, Animagus, is the only known incantation with four words. It is therefore, also the longest incantation revealed. This perhaps underscores the complexity and intricacy of the process of becoming an Animagus, which can be a fiendishly long and difficult process. Amato is a conjugation of the Latin word Amo, which means I love or I am obliged to. Animo and Animato are both different conjugations of the Latin word Animo, which can mean I animate or I fill with breath or life. Animagus on the other hand appears to be a portmanteau of animo or animal, and magus, which is Latin for wizard. Overall, the incantation can roughly mean, my love brings me life, I am obliged to become an animal wizard. The spell, as well as the method of becoming an animagus, is only mentioned in Potter Moran in the mobile game. Harry Potter. Hogwarts Mystery. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to be the first notified when a new video comes out, please hit that subscribe button.